Hi, hello. I'm going to be teaching you how to do the pencil effect. Pencil sketch effect. Um, so you're going to want to open up Photoshop and pick a picture of your preference. Sorry in advance for the background noises. Next, you're going to make a double layer. Oh, wait. Double layer. And with that, you're going to do Control J. So, and that's your layer. Okay. Next, what you want to do is go here and go to Hue and Saturation. Then you want to bring it all the way to black and white. So then you do this, black and white. I'm very sorry in advance. I don't know how to explain this, but I'll try my best. Then what you want to do is, the next thing you want to do is click layer 1 and do control i and that changed your photo to a x-ray looking picture then you're going to go here and go to color dodge and then you'll see it's almost all white or you can see a little bit pieces then what you want to do is go to filter and then here in the I don't know how to pronounce that sorry about that and click there and then this will appear and here you basically put it as much as you want like you go there the, the pixels how many pixels you want I guess that's what I'm saying I'm gonna write the a good one. Just uh, hmm. Helps really difficult. Hmm. Okay, that looks good. And you're gonna put okay. Then you're gonna go here and click levels. And here you want it just to adjust at your preference. And then how long how dark you want it, how bright you want it. Then just come into this and click on okay. And then from here <laughs> uh, just Then from there, you're gonna want to go to brightness and contrast. Increase the brightness and lower the contrast, or as as you want. That looks good, but you want to, hmm, or as you want, I'm going to just increase it by a little bit. Oh, sorry, I meant decrease the brightness and increase the contrast, but I'm going to decrease it just by one. Then what you want to do is create a other layer, and I'll do that right now. Now that you have your layer, your new one, to do that, you go Shift, Control, Alt, E. Mm -hmm. And you'll only need one. Then you want to do is right click on your new layer, layer 2. Then convert to smart object. Then you want to go to filter filter then noise and add noise. And here you just 
change the amount of percentage, I guess, to like if you, how realistic you want it. So then if you go here, I'm guessing it's like little small pixels. I don't know. I'm very sorry. And not so many, not so long. Some realistic. That seems right. Then go to. Then you want to go to filter again, and then sharpen, and smart sharpen. And then here you just want to increase or decrease as much. So for example, you go over here. And this down, the same thing as the other one. And for here, I don't think you need a lot, but if you want, just do as much as you want. So as you, I'm just gonna. Hmm. I'm gonna just leave it somewhere here. I'm gonna push OK. Then you want to create another layer, so you're gonna do Shift Control at E or not. Or was it? Hold up. When you have done your other layer, <laughs> I got it to work. So yeah, it's just shift control alt e it might take you a few tries or just one like that first but you would want to do another layer then you do then you want to go to filter and filter gallery then press this one if you have it if you don't press poster edges and suddenly i don't have poster so this one's close enough, close enough. So if you don't have poster edges, then this is the closest it gets. So this one for you. Then what you want to do is go here and mess around with it, and then wait, hold on. let me see what I have it. Oh, found it. Post edges. So just go here, or just click one row oh, from here, from the top, and then you go here, and then click post your edges. Sorry about that. And then just try to not really mess around. But yeah, kind of mess around to see what your preference is and how you would want it. Hmm. See that much. Oh, that one's fine in there. Then this. Hmm. This one's there. Yeah, that's fine. That seems kind of fine. Mm, I don't know. Oh, okay. That seems fine to me. Okay, then when you're done with that, press OK. Then what you want to do is add a layer mask. Then what you want to do is click the brush tool, and then if you have black and white, well, I guess you don't have, you don't have those colors, just switch, and you want black first, then white. Then you want to have it to 100, and then... Then we only want 
this on the hair. We don't want it anywhere else. So we're just going to... So if you accidentally erased a little bit of the hair like I did right here, just turn it back. Once it goes down, you can make sure you don't Okay, now you're gonna still have the brush tool part, the, the brush part, <laughs> the brush tool, and then you're gonna zoom in to the eyes, and then use that. Oh, my bad. Sorry about that, but you, do, you don't do the whole eye and eyebrows. You actually just do the eyelid. So let's do this down. Take it off. Just take it back off. Sorry about that. I thought you were supposed to do the whole thing. You just want to erase everything, not erase, but turn it back, do the colors, and then you just do the eyes. So just the eyes. Mm -hmm. right, when you're done with just doing the little eyelid. You're gonna go here and then either choose one of these. So And just choose between these. It could be any choice you want, or just 
to the one I did, which was darker color. And then you want to decrease. So then 60 to 50. So you can do 60, you can have it 160, or on 50, or between those. Hmm. And then we do 60. And we are done. And we just created a pencil sketch effect. I hope you enjoyed, and I am very sorry for the misunderstandings throughout the vid video. But yes, this is your final product. I hope you enjoyed doing this pencil sketch with me. Bye bye.